Will Jason Shaw turn the tide? Or will Earl really be a pearl? Two words, Phil. Box office. This is going to be frightening stuff. As Emma said, he hails from North Carolina, the Tar Heel State. Will he show Jason Shaw a clean pair of heels? Well, this is a good break-off. He's playing for the one ball in the side pocket, Phil, and he makes it, but he's hooked. No, he couldn't. What a safety shot he has played there, using the green six and the nine ball as a blocker. And the Strickland safety is paid, it seems, rich dividends. top right corner and avoid the scratch if he can't he's gonna have to start getting juicy with the cue ball big moments coming up well he missed that ball but the slide the brand new ball somehow it has fell in the pocket is this destiny Phil Could see the ball just turning over in a, in a few more days when the the dirt starts getting on the balls. They won't skid in. They won't fall. <laughs> He's looking good, Earl, isn't he? He's playing some good shots. He looks composed as well. Just what I was going to say. Playing at a nice, measured pace, a good rhythm, and like Jason Shaw, who in this cup as a whole. <laughs> to the side pocket, Earl Strickland doubles his advantage, 2-0 ahead, and European woes multiply. Oh, look at this, Earl of Pearls turned into a trick shot player! Earl was just asking that. Brendan, a question there. He has to settle down now because he's playing well. And, whoa, look at this break. Has he got a shot on the two? He has got a shot on the two. The balls are that pretty. This is just dot to dot. Are you saying road map call? I am indeed. He's just got to settle down on this first shot. You've got to kind of kill the cue ball. And sometimes when you play that type of shot, you put a little bit of unwanted spin on the cue ball and can fire it into one of the jaws. Oh, it's in the heart of the pocket. Absolute heart of the pocket. The snooker gets me when the crowd says boring when someone plays safe. What's boring is them saying it's boring. Cue ball over towards the purple five. Good shot, Earl, Earl thinks the two ball just pulled into the pocket a little bit. That can happen once you level the table. After a couple of days, it beds into the floor. How did the two ball not go in there? Where's the cue ball going to end up? Is Earl going to get a shot on the two? He is. He's got a shot. This is a chance. It was a fine effort from Jason. Here's another look. How did this ball not drop? Yeah. 
What an opportunity here for the great man to move to the hill. This rack is all going to come down to this ball right here. If it passes the eight, he's fine. If it doesn't, he's got to go somewhere else. He has an angle, Phil. Does that six ball pass the black eight? If it does, this is relatively easy. I don't think the green six passes the eight ball because he's taking a bit of time. It doesn't. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? He scratched. What a moment in this match. Groans from the American fans, the vastly outnumbered European supporters loving it. Shaw breaking to try to level. Where's the cue ball? And now it's his turn to scratch. The pendulum is busy. It's just swung violently back towards the USA. Had the white made any kind of contact with that black eight ball, he would not have scratched. Well, that's not too bad, is it? It could have been a lot worse. If it goes over a pocket, he's lost a rack. He's got to be delighted with that, hasn't he? Can Jason play the bank shot? That's what he's gone for. That's what he's gone for. Has it held up? How big is this eight ball now in this rack? It's either going to be 3-3 or Earl's going to be on the hill. This is a nasty shot. I'll tell you what, if Strickland pots it eventually, it will be Europe who will be behind the eight ball. <laughs> that was asking an awful lot, Carl, wasn't it? Asking an awful lot. Yeah, it was. You, you can't blame him for going for it. But from nowhere, back against the wall, Jason Shaw's dug in, he's done well. And it's this nine ball to tie this match up. Well, he couldn't, he's had to play safe. He's played a good safety, by the way. But that has just let Earl get another shot. You never know when your opponent is kicking at a ball. Crazy things can happen. Jason was trying to clear the table there, Phil. And with ball in hand, he picked his own angle and still didn't get anywhere near where he wanted to be. Sure, susceptible to me. There's no doubt about it. But he played a good save to Jay. You know, he'd run out of line, fair enough, on the positional shot. But he I'm held sorry. himself together and he played a good safety. Earl's apologising, but you know, he's still in this match. He's not over yet by any stretch. No, he's got to play this into a stingy pocket. Such a good potter, though. Straight in the middle. This one looks over and done. What a comeback. What a performance. I'm glad you're taking something for granted, Carl. I'm certainly not. Not the way things have gone in this Moscone Cup so far. It's all about an angle on the eight. Oh, oh! Steady on. <laughs> you want to get the cue ball out into the table. Watch the emotion here. He's going to go off on one. He's doing the Earl Strickland celebration. It's the Shaw Strut.
But now, his boat has come in. He's won the Turning Stone Classic eight times, Jason Shaw. Is that going to be the turning point in the Moscone Cup? Jason Shaw defeats Earl Strickland, 5-3. Going upstairs. This is a little tester, this shot, isn't it? Bit of a tester filler with the first opportunity to draw blood. Yeah. Wow, that was an incredible shot to start off. That's, that's such a tough shot to play and he makes him look so easy. Cueing from the rail, great shot maker. Right, number two. See what filler has on the break. Goes with the cut break back and forth. One just misses. Comes up dry. What a look for Shane Allison. Wow, that's surprising. And like I was saying yesterday, he had that break dialed in. Today, not so much. And it's very important, you know, race to five is cutthroat. So every rack, every ball is so important. he's made any changes since that last break. It's interesting to watch the approaches to the break. It looks like he's been going with the cup break back and forth. That nine ball moving towards the corner pocket. So is the eight. Nice look for filler here, Allison. Yeah, do you think he's going to try that 1-9 carom, possibly? Maybe the carom. Looks pretty it's, natural. It's so tempting here, because we've got the 8-ball hanging, the 9-ball hanging. Yeah, not too bad, though. Wow. <laughs> Look at that cue ball hanging on the co corner of the pocket. He's a bit of a gangster filler, you know? Yeah. Wow. Shane needs to figure something out here, doesn't he, for that break? Certainly does. 2-1 filler. We've had two dry breaks, haven't we, from Shane? Perhaps another here from filler. Watch the cue ball and the crowd goes nuts. The pink four and purple five sort of congealing on this bottom right rail. Definitely poses a problem unless he can break it up. Or if not, there would be a good safety there. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Does the purple five squeeze past the nine, Allison? Can you tell? Not quite sure from my angle, but the way Shane is walking around, it, it probably does. See, he didn't hesitate when he was looking, did he, earlier? But if not, if it doesn't, he's got a great safety play behind the nine. Right. So either way. That's a nice lock-up safety there. Pink four ball. Didn't quite work out as intended there. I think he tried to play the shot you said and kept an eye on the cue ball, stopped it right there, but perhaps hit the wrong side of the pink four. Nice look for filler to get going. He tends to do in relatively short order. Good speed here. I 
like about him. He's so compact, isn't he? He looks so compact. Very compact. Hits the ball is seemingly so soft and does so much with the cue ball. Just something about a lefty, you know, southpaw. So nice to watch. Yeah. And uh, Joshua is having a great year too. He won the UK Open. The World Games gold medal for Germany and the World Poor Masters. Amazing the amount of titles he's been winning. And he's only 25 years of age. I believe he has his parents out in the audience watching along with his wife, Pia. Who's a female player on tour too, so they both play competitively. Took him a little while to get comfortable there, Allison. Really good. Now he can use the right side to play down below the brown seven, maybe into the side pocket. Does tickle the corner, bobbling it, and touches the eight, but looks like he's come out okay, albeit a hair steep. I think I like that about Joshua. He doesn't really sort of stop and think, oh, it's a good shot. He just plays Look out. Out. Wow! Look out. Was so unexpected. I've never seen mistakes like that from Joshua, so Shane has got ball in hand on the eight. Big, big game to make it three to three. Shocking. A, a little bit shocking. No, by the way, when Shane had gone in there, he did his warm up routine. He didn't take anything for granted. The crowd goes nuts. Three, three. All tied up. What a match. Filler back in. Very disappointed. So whereas Joshua oh, was made. Oh, 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 oh my word. This is one thing after another. Isn't it? This is unbelievable. I yeah, can't... it's been a sloppy match. Yeah. Shocking that he caught that. Absolutely shocking. He's got the jump cue out. The crowd's going nuts. Billy Thorpe is out there, no shirt on in the overalls, going insane. I see that. He's, he's winding this crowd right up, and uh, rightly so. Him down. Great angle here. Yeah, it's not too bad there, Allison. That's a terrific Another crowd. tester, though. Yeah. You favor a high ball on this upcoming pink four ball, or, or do you like to kind of jack up and stun it a bit? I think it's. Uh, you see this angle. I think he's got a high ball. Didn't he? Oh, good lord! He played that so well. What a great shot! He just makes it look so easy, as we've said before. Cuts it badly. A little lucky, maybe. Yeah, whether the three is, it's not hard for Joshua. Yeah. Even if he can, I think he can get through, but even if he couldn't, it's an easy jump for these players. Yeah. Look at the cue power there. It's perfect. Such a massive point here. USA up 3 2. The overall. I don't think. I think Shane looks a bit out of sorts. I don't think he's nervous. I think it's just not quite engaged. Nothing's really allowed him to flow, has it? Yeah, it's been every time he, he gets going, something kind of weird has happened this match. The same with Joshua, but he seems to have potted his way out of trouble. You know, a little bit 
run here and they played it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. He hooked himself on the three and then just yeah. came with it. He's out anyway. Yeah, it's been a strange match. Not what I was expecting in this particular match. I was expecting fireworks, break and runs, break and runs. But we've seen a more tactical side and a lot of errors, unforced errors. That's the difference of team competition versus individual competition too, I think. There's that little extra weight, isn't there, the team. The European fans erupt. There you have it. The teammates are coming out. Joshua Filler winning that match. Team Europe looking a little bit more comfortable today, I would say. And here we have it, three to three going into the next match. 3-3 indeed. See, playing it into a blind pocket makes it a little more tricky. Spicy kick. That was a beautiful shot. We saw some really lovely execution from Tyler yesterday when he partnered with Shane Van Bonen and then he did the same there. Just overran it a little bit, but nevertheless, beginning of the, of the match, nice shot. Confident Wow, dream star. Beautifully played by Oscar. Nice bank shot into the corner. Yeah, he's, he's got to get back into that intensity. You could see he was sort of very relaxed there just before breaking his face. Terrific shot from Tyler Steyer. So far, he's been the man of this tournament, I think. Wow, look at that. Negotiated that gap between the pink and the purple there and leaves Oscar a shot on the two. Fantastic shot. Just hit the five flush and let it run through it. Beautiful hit. That's a terrific shot. A little bit unfortunate there. Didn't quite hit it as planned, but he made contact. But he's left the Europeans yeah. a chance. Beautiful hit. going away from the Moscone for a moment you know this is the culmination of a wonderful year for nine ball pool thanks to Emily Fraser and Matru Multisport who've put on a wonderful calendar and in 2023 it's going to get even better of course the reason I'm saying this is that it all started out this year with the Premier League pool in which these two partners now came up against each other Albert Aushin getting the verdict Will Filler sort out this 6-9 combination and equalize as a consequence? Yeah! Of course he will. Oh, you see the composure in Albin. He's a master of that shot clock too, isn't he? How to control himself. Knows exactly what's happening and how long he has to shoot. Mm, unexpected. <laughs> wow. USA jump out the chairs. I will say, when you scratch and you hit numerous balls or have a, a bad kiss, therefore it is quite hard to take. That was, well, predictable. I just got a little too low, got a little hold of that cue ball a little much. I think he wanted to hit just before the side pocket there. You ball back nicely. 
He did. It's easy to get hold of the ball and go too far on the new cloth. But this is a little tester for Tyler, but it's a natural position with a bit of low. You can see left English, low left ball. Beautiful shot. Wow, he walked around quickly there, wondering if the nine was going to be a blocker. Makes it exciting. Each rack in this match so far has gone with the break. And now, from middle distance, Dominguez has this nine ball to continue that streak. Tester here into the side because he's going to be forcing the cue ball around one, two, three rails to get onto the nine ball, I think. Yeah, a tester on any table on the stingy middle pockets, very much so. <laughs> he forced that ball in the pocket, didn't he? It was a good shot. And now for the third time in the match, Europe are back on level terms. Another match that's keenly contested. And reach the hill. <laughs> Simply extraordinary. Memories of Chris Reinholdt's missed five ball in last year's event. Tyler Steyer will be inconsolable. Yeah, it was very shocking that I expected on the previous shot, actually, Oscar just to come in and out of the rail and leave a long six ball, but he opted to spin it and just came up a little funny there. And Tyler was more well, looking at how to bump time. into the nine ball to get on the seven. So that was the focus. And he actually used a little bit of inside English, a bit of left English, and I think that cost the pot. Or will you play if you win? I will, I think, 10. Yeah, then do I think they called their extension. 20 seconds, all is good. It's a big shot, this. Yeah, it's a 30 second shot clock with a 30 second extension allowed. One per team per rack. Oh. That was a really incredible shot there from Alvin. He's going to go for this. You could tell from the reaction of the crowd. It was muted when they saw that five ball coming across the table, giving Aushan and Filler the opportunity to complete Europe's third consecutive victory. Good. These American fans tonight, you know, when they go to the casino, maybe they'll dabble with a bit of roulette. You won't expect them to go 33 and 35 because it's been 3-3 and then 5-3 to Europe in every match. I might go and have a dabble. <laughs> That's a beauty. A little bit of inside English the share behind the balls, behind that seven ball. They really played in sync, haven't they? Alex Lely's boys are now 
two pots away from taking the lead in this Moscone Cup for the first time. It's that score progression yet again today. has been nothing else. 3-3, and then in the crunch, when it really matters, Europe are finding the magic. Bank pool capital of, of the states, but might be trying to kick behind it, might be trying to bank it just beyond the eight. Does go for so. Oh, it just flicked the eight ball, didn't it? Look good halfway down the table. Yeah, I think if the eight wasn't there, that was going in the heart. Another look at it. As Carl said, just nicks the eight on the way down. Still some small issues, might have to play the eight up north for Sanchez Ruiz. That's actually okay, it's not the worst nudge. I mean, you would have been a little bit unlucky to not leave some kind of shot, but he's left that absolutely straight as an arrow into the top left corner. So this nine ball for your first ever rack in a singles match in the Moscone Cup. Sanchez Ruiz on the board. Oh, this would bring the roof down. Well, a portion of the roof, let's yeah. say. <laughs> the blue portion. Yeah, he's having a go. He's having a go. This is tricky. Well, he is showing why he's been the player. What a good shot 20, that was. 22. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stone center of the hole there. Yeah, this could be worrying times now for Team USA. Really could. The slide of the new cloth and the shiny ball has helped the two ball drop into that pocket because he did not hit this ball good at all. He was so concerned about making sure that green six ball reached the rail, he's forgot about the cue ball. This is the intended pocket, maybe. Hang on. Hang on a second, Carl. We said he's going to need a little bit. We did call this. Is that the moment that just turns this intriguing singles point on its head? The crowd enjoyed that one, Nick. They certainly did. And I mean, it is a miss, you know? When you shoot that bank, it, it does go in 5% of the time or something like that. He, he's aware, but of course, he didn't play the double bank. And he's pumping up the crowd, buddy. Look at this guy. Got 25 seconds. Just don't miss the nine now. After all that, could be a little anticlimactic. Win it 2 2. Coach Jones on the way out. 
Doesn't want to get straight on the green six. Oh, look out! Look yeah, out he's out. behind the nine ball. What a mistake! He's still at the table. Can he go rail first? He's gone straight for the short stick. That's a massive mistake. Of course, he's still about 50-50, maybe even better to make this, but that's a huge error. Listen, Nick, this is what the crowd can do. This is why they're the sixth player. This is what is going on. You put in the heat on the European, still at the table. If he makes the jump shot, he will have a shot on the seven ball. Big moment coming up. He's missed the jump shot. He's the rookie has made a mistake if Skyler can clear. I mean, if that's not home court advantage, I don't know what is. That was a bizarre mistake from Sanchez Ruiz. And also a little of the Skyler factor. This guy's such a champion, such a storied Moscone Cup player. It's tough in there. Another look at the jump shot. Hits it thick. You get the cue ball somewhere there. Oh, beautiful axe crawl. Look at you, pal. He's down. Hold on a little yeah. minute. The yeah, cue ball did, is did on keep the drifting, rail. didn't it? Well, the cue ball's on the rail, and going forward, if the scratch is on in the side pocket, this may be awkward. If the natural angle isn't a scratch, he's fine. If the scratch is there, he may have to slightly jack up on the cue. One ball, yellow one ball is tracked up towards the top left corner, but he can't see it. Very difficult to see if he can go off the left rail first. If he can, coming off that rail, he would have to hit the one ball very thin in order to pot it. it looks like the pink four and the black eight ball have tied up as well. As Carl said, he might be kicking off the left, left rail trying to make it, or he might be playing a kick safety. Oh, in the heart of the hole. And does he try to break up the pink four and the black eight now, Carl? Or does he just go to the three? It's all about them two balls, what Nick was talking about, this rap, the pink four and the eight balls, trying to play come out there. Oh, what a shot. Yes. How do you like that, Mr. Woodward? He's feeling good out there, he really is. He knows, vice captain. He that knows. was a great shot. Look at this cue action. One, two, three into the eight, as Carl said, he's feeling good for sure, sir. What a great shot that was. Yeah, he knows how important this rap and this point of the cup is. He's seen... He's seen his buddies, he's seen his teammates lose three points on the spin today, Nick. Yeah, he's got the pink four up north. And perhaps a 5-9 combo, Carl, to close out the match? Or do you just try to get position in the five in the bottom left? I hear you. I think the combo is the... But I hear you. I know what you're saying, buddy. Feels good to be heard, pal. Played for the combo, the nine is near the pocket. He's yeah. celebrating, he likes this combo. He feels he like he can't miss this ball, Nick. <laughs> this combination for a phenomenal win. For the match. What a performance there from Skyler Woodward. Got off to a shaky start. But did what he tends to do, finish strong, closed it out. A huge point for USA, tying it up at 4-4 now on the overall. What a performance that was from the vice captain. 2-0 down. 
He then goes on to win the next five racks. This cup is all tied. It's 